And in business news, despite the COVID-19 lockdown in major parts of Nigeria and across the globe, it is worthy of note that while there are droves of struggling businesses, some business owners are at the peak of their sales and services. Joining me live to speak on these is Gospel Obeli. Gospel, thank you for joining us on News of the Hour. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Some have said that not everybody is losing out during the lockdown. Some are apparently making gains. Who could these people be as concerns the business sector? So basically every um, crisis is two-faced. Um, you have the opportunity side of it and you also have the um, cut side of it. So basically we have uh, businesses who are largely in the essentials, in the essential services, um, businesses in the FMCG spaces, uh, basically, then also e-commerce services, um, digital-related services are, all, are, are, are largely on the, on the rise and they're doing way better than they ever done because now people do not have an option than to leverage on all of these tools and platforms and uh, because they need to survive. Uh, so it's, it's hinged largely around FMCG's technology, basically, yeah. All right, now what do these groups have that set them apart at this time? So it's just the nature of the crisis. Um, even when you look at seasonalities, Christmas periods, Easter period, some sectors will outperform some other sectors. So it, it's, it's it lies the word natural, that when you have seasonalities or crisis, crisis like this, some sectors will naturally you know, be at the fault. But looking at it generally, you have a situation of a total lockdown and people need to feed. So because survival is at the core, and food survival is at the core. Food and data survival are at the core of people's lives right now at the moment. I think these are the two major things that are um, uh, critical success factors, you know, for e-commerce or tech-related products and services, and then the FMCGs, yeah. Now, what are the practices you, you think can be adopted to ensure that even if your business is struggling to survive, that it eventually weathers the storm? So I, I think likely a lot of businesses would have to step back a bit and review um, and review the state of their market or the marketing which they play or the industry and the sector. Um, COVID-19 more or less has shaped the economy, the world economy so much. And um, for vulnerable nations like Nigeria, we are always at the receiving end. So it means that on post-COVID-19, there will be a form of shock. So businesses would have to review how much or how viable their ideas or their current business models would be sustainable in the short term. I think that's the first place. And because we do not have enough entrepreneurial education to help small businesses um, sit down and, and you know, engage that intellectual rigor of accessing markets, then a lot of SMEs who even have the potential to succeed may, may be on the declining end. So I think, first of all, is a detailed review and a scenario planning. And then secondly, uh, in as much as some businesses may have to close out, some other businesses may have to go lean, you know, the structure may have to go lean. Uh, the use of technology, online meetings and the likes have also revealed that we don't need as much structure or as much, you know, in terms of operations as we used to do. So a lot of businesses will have to go lean and review their processes because to a large extent, majority of SMEs are not making money at the moment. So a review of processes, a review of structure, um, then a review of markets, you know, this three particular things will go a long way to shape how businesses will pan out and, pen, and basically on um, depending on what sector you play in as an SME or as an entrepreneur. Uh, all right, um, Gospel, interestingly, you did make mention of um, the post-COVID-19 era. Now, in, in the light of COVID-19, we've just seen some businesses who have, who have lost completely their relevance. All right, now, in, in terms of post-COVID era, what, what sort of businesses can we expect to emerge in Nigeria? Because whether we accept it or not, uh, a new nation, a new world will definitely emerge post-COVID era. What, what kind of businesses can we expect to emerge? So definitely the world order has changed. And um, uh, post, on post-COVID-19, the world economy and even the national economy in Nigeria cannot remain the same just immediately. And so um, um, now the U.S. government is talking about reopening the economy in three phases. So what that would mean for um, nations like Nigeria would mean there will be, there will be some level of restrictions. Um, we, we internally would even need to put some a level of restrictions, you know, put a level of um, 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 uh, large restrictions here and there to manage the spread. Because either way, as much as we don't have a vaccine yet, the spread will continue. So it's number one to um, uh, look at how your business will thrive in this new economy. and. To a large extent, digital and technology platforms would not be on the rise because businesses would need to leverage companies, churches, religious institutes and the like. We need to leverage on online and uh, digital platforms to push their work out there. You know, um, 
uh, also FMCGs, you know, food uh, businesses will, will take off, basically, because at that point, people would now be seeking to balance up on many grounds. Um, I think the financial sector would need to pick up really quick because a whole lot has gone down the drain and, you know, um, they would need to begin to latch on the new markets, especially okay. um, cluster markets that may arise or new opportunities that may arise okay. from uh, uh, post-COVID-19, yeah. Gospel Billy, thank you for your time and for joining us on News of the Hour. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.